2024 team are definitely drawing those comparisons to the dream team. And quite frankly, I'm taking the 2024 team seven days a week. I think the 2024 team beats the dream team five out of seven games. I didn't give the dream team some respect. They got goats. We get it. They got Hall of Famers. We get it. I just think the versatility on that team, the star power, the score, I don't think the dream team can do anything with that. Now, if the dream team has Shaq on it and not Christian Leitner, maybe a different story. And that's why I don't think the dream team could come close. It's, I wouldn't say come close. It's a 10 point loss. Double digits. By 2024 Team USA, you can book it. Hey, yo, we got to discuss this. Now, y'all know the Team USA men's basketball been a lot of talk, ever since, especially ever since Kevin Durant came back. Uh, the team been on another level. Um, these guys, Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Stephen Curry, the Avengers is, is taking off Anthony Edwards. Uh, but Draymond Green, you know, he got his podcast. He's always opinionated. He always has great takes. Uh, four-time NBA champion, defensive player of the year. I believe he won defensive, didn't he? But, um, you know, anchor of them Golden State Warriors teams, dynasties. He spoke his piece on it, and he said he's taking a 2024 Team USA. I spoke on that, too. I agree with him on that one. Um, but he said something interesting. He said they were winning five. He said the only way they would have a chance if they put Shaq in and take out Christian Leitner. Now think about the time. This was 1992. Shaq was a rookie in 1992. So he wasn't the peak Shaq, but he was very athletic and still very good, putting up crazy numbers. So this just tells you, and you know what I'm saying, even when he was on his rookie contract, he went at it with uh, Hakeem Olajuwon in the finals, putting up 28, 12, and uh, was it three blocks? So that just shows you the respect and how good Shaq was. He said that's the only way they had a chance is with Shaq. So y'all let me know. If y'all take out Christian Leitner, put Shaq in there. 92 Shaq, that is, rookie Shaq. Do y'all think they beat Team USA or do y'all think they beat them regardless? Let me know in the comments.